We're talking other dimensions. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Well, it, the universe, let's call it the cosmos, is described by astrophysicists as sort of this 3D thing. Now, if you look at uh, quantum entanglement and the concepts of a universe being a holographic conscious entity, which it is, then you start talking about not just material, but you're also talking about other dimensions that are at refined levels of frequencies and vibration. So the speed of light, the speed of electrons, atoms, what have you, all of that would pertain to what we call the 3D, three-dimensional. If you were to cross over that in, in frequencies, then you're talking about other embedded dimensions, but it's not like it's some distant place, it's folded within. So, you know, a, a hologram, if you look at a hologram of Marilyn Monroe with her dress blowing up, you know, like that. Mm -hmm. If you were to just zoom in on one little piece of that dress on the edge of the, her, her, her skirt, you and zoom in on it, the entire image would be in there and zoom in again, it'd be, it's holographic. So you have to kind of get your mind around the cosmos is this conscious quantum hologram. And so there are many, many, many dimensions not just this plane of three dimension uh, that is all enfolded within it. So a lot of the confusion happens where everything like a, something weird, like a poltergeist event will be conflated with uh, something extraterrestrial. Well, it isn't. So that kind of phenomenon isn't extraterrestrial. It's interdimensional. You see what I'm saying? I do. Okay, so I'm trying to do some very kind of cr crude analogies, but the confusion comes in is that if you're an interstellar capable civilization, which means you're going from point A in the cosmos to here, B, it's like if, you, if this were a piece of paper, you're not going a straight line across the paper, you're folding the paper being space-time. Okay. And so these two points are here. I'm right? enlightened now. And so, but in the process of doing that, it, this sort of bending and, and altering space-time, you then bump up against and cross these other dimensions. And this is sort of the intersection between what some people call metaphysics and physics, or the conscious worlds and the, the worlds of light, if you will, the mystics who call astral, and extraterrestrial technologies. And it's a very interesting intersection.